Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're well, I hope you're having a great day. Um, thank you to everybody that subscribed. I'm really pleased to be back. I've had like the flu for three weeks. I'm still uh, got a few kind of residual problems with um, my chest and uh, throat and an awful lot of coughing and stuff. It may have been a flu, it may have been something else, but uh, you know what these tests are like, they come back negative, so. Um, anyway, um, really looking forward to uh, uh, this track. I don't recognize it. I recognize the band, which is the Selector. Um, and this is a track called Missing Words. It was taken from their 1980 album, uh, Too Much Pressure. Um, the Selector consists of Pauline Black on vocals, um, I've heard of her. Um, Arthur Hendrickson also on vocals, uh, Noel Davis on guitars, Desmond Braun on Hammond organ, um, Charlie Anderson on bass. I love it when they, they say Hammond organ. It's like, um, it's one of these like legendary organs that, uh, legendary keys that people used to use back in the day. Uh, I don't even know what Hammond organ looks like actually. I keep hearing it, it keeps cropping up in reactions. Uh, Charlie Anderson on bass and um, Charlie Bembridge on drums. So, like I said, I've never heard this before. I've got lyrics up in front of me. I'm not sure if this is a studio version or um, a video. Um, Didn't do too badly in uh, the UK Top 40. It reached number 23. Um, released on the 29th of March 1980, so um, just around about springtime. And yeah, number 23 is not bad, so uh, without further ado, this is The Selector. With missing words. Uh, I'll let you know if I've heard it before. I've heard uh, the only one I can think of is uh, on my radio, which I think was sometime in late in the um, early autumn of 1979. So yeah, this would probably be their follow up. Oh, studio version. It there. I've never heard this song before, but it's got it's got a real uh, feel of that previous song that I heard, which was on my radio. Um, I love the drums; actually, they're very distinctive. In fact, it's it would be the drums that would make me think of uh, on my radio, and um, I'm just loving the energy of this. Actually, it looks like a really they look like a really great band, the Selector. I'm not really sure if they were part of a bigger project or like if this was a side project, but. Um, for definite, I've never seen um, Pauline Black, the singer, before in any other band except this, but I might be wrong. Um, I saw her on television a few weeks ago, not a few weeks ago, maybe a couple of months back. Um, I think it was for the Coventry year of, um, oh God, this is where I'm getting quite old, uh, culture. Is it year of culture? Anyway, yeah, something going on in Coventry, and it was supposed to have been over a whole year. Um, but it kind of got a little bit waylaid by COVID, so. But yeah, she was talking on that, and uh, she pops up every now and again on a few shows talking about music. So I'm kind of well well aware of who she is. But this is this is great. I love this. Um, I'm not even sure what show this is. It doesn't look like um, anyone I've I've ever sort of seen. Um, almost looks American in its
that was a selector of missing words that was uh, really really good um i mean i've just finished listening to a really really long track and um, it's really nice to get into a short three minute plus track um but the performance as well was uh, really really full of energy loved seeing those two guys going up those steps and uh jumping around their guitars um i guess uh, one of the things uh, i've i i've i'm really really impressed with on this one is the uh, drumming uh, charlie Bembridge, i think it is um yeah i loved it loved the drumming loved the sound of those drums and also that like kind of crispy feel of the guitars as well um it's you know it's definitely felt like a two-tone record um as it was back in the day and i don't think i really appreciated uh to fully fully appreciated how good some of the two-tone stuff was back then I mean, I used to listen to it, it used to feel quite edgy, and it was generally adopted by the cooler kids at school. So I never really kind of felt part of a cool gang, cool in the gang back then. And um, But I used to really quietly enjoy some of the tracks I used to hear from the beat, the selector. Um, and of course, you've got the bigger bands, you've got uh, the Madness, um, the Specials. Uh, I think, um, I'm trying to think of who else it was, Special AKA. Uh, but yeah. It was a really kind of different feel, and it was a very British feel, this, this kind of music was. Um, so this was great. Anyway, I, I, I really, really enjoyed this. I loved watching them on, on stage. Um, I, do you know what? And I was thinking to myself, even when I was probably about 15, 16, I didn't have that much energy. Um, I mean, I was, quite, um, I was quite sporty back then. I put on a lot of weight over the last few years, um, which is why you only ever see the top. A uh, bit of my head, um, because because um, underneath it's gone quite um, I'm quite fat, and um, I do sit around a little bit too much watching box sets. Anyway, I digress. Um, this was a super super video. I was trying to figure out where this studio performance was, and it, I think it may have been um, the uh, continental version of Top of the Pops, which was called Top Pop, and that might have been a Dutch, maybe a Dutch um, production. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. If there's anything else from Selector I could be listening to, then, uh, yeah, I'm really, really willing to dive in there and um, have, a, you know, have a, a pin my ears back and have a good old listen to something else um, by them. Um, but like I say, I don't even know how long ago they were, or I don't even know how long they were around um, and whether this was the only album they had. So, um, yeah, but a few gaps I want to... If you guys can fill in those like few little gaps for me, I'd, I'd be really appreciative. And yeah, of course, any other tracks um, to react to as well. So, because um, I enjoy the energy, and right now, um, springtime's here. Um, I need as much energy as I can to kind of get me motivated for the summer. And uh, so, more tracks like this are fantastic. So yeah, till next time, take care of yourselves. Have a great day, and have a great week.